we've got ourselves a new expansion, so, some new cards, but old attackers, we are going to be visiting Scizor. Scizor, if it has less than 100 remaining re HP, it deals 80 more damage with its attacks. Steel Wing, 80 damage, make that 160. Take 30 less damage your next turn. Crosscut GX, 180, plus another 100 against Evolutions. It doesn't look too good, but we've got ourselves two cards that can help that. First, Island Challenge Amulet. Reduce the HP by 100. And Rainbow Energy. Reduce the energy, reduce the HP by another 10. That will leave Scizor with 100 HP or less remaining. You are giving up only one prize, thanks to the amulet, and dealing 160 damage with a 2 energy attacker. Other Pokemon in this build, we've got Silvalli GX. We can draw until we have 5 in our hand. Don't really use it for much else. Persian GX, if a GX was KO'd by an opponent during their turn, then you can search your deck for two cards. Now remember, Island Challenge Amulet only works if they're knocked out by an attack. And Persian GX only works if they are not knocked out by Shrine of Punishment or by Poison. So you've got two cards to help with that. The first card is Cobalion GX. Any Pokemon with Metal Energy, including Rainbow, attached, cannot be affected by special conditions. So if you come up against a Muck Tag, which I did, then they cannot poison you for 8 damage between turns. The other card you have is Chaotic Swell. Play it as a stadium. Next stadium that comes into play, discard it immediately. That player cannot play a second stadium during same turn. In other words, they, you are protected from Shrine of Punishment, and you are protected from Poison. Last Pokemon to really talk about is Jirachi. Search out all your items and trainers. As you can see, we have a lot of trainers. We've got ourselves Tag Calls. Tag Calls, search for two Tag Team cards. We're not playing any GXs. We're just playing three Tag Team Supporters. First supporter that you need to know about is not a tag team, it's Professor Oak's setup. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon of different types. Well, we've got Jirachi, we've got Scyther, and we've got normal basics. We then have red and blue. Basically, a it's an Evo Soda that's a supporter. But if you discard two other cards from your hand, search your deck for up to two energy that are basic and attach them onto the Pokemon. So what you can do is red and blue for Scizor, put on one metal energy, then put on a rainbow energy, and if you have an island challenge amulet in your hand, you've got it set up. Other two supporters, Guzma and Hala, search your deck for a stadium, discard two other cards if you want, add a tool and a special energy. So this can be your rainbow, ener rainbow energy and your island challenge amulet if you already have a Scizor on the field with a metal energy on it. Some other tech cards in here. Cherish Ball. Search for a GX. You usually want to do this with these ones up here. Great Catcher. You are going to two shot everything. So force out a tag team for three prize trade. Escape Board. Reduce retreat cost by one. This is mostly for Jirachi. And one weakness guard energy. This is used for, with Guzma and Hala if you do not need a rainbow energy. Or if you are facing a fire deck, which I did a couple times. I actually managed to beat Charizard and Brixen. Don't have that recording, sorry. Last card that we have to talk about here, Wondrous Labyrinth. All non-fairy Pokemon have their attack cost increased by one. I threw that in there for a bit of stall. It's really fun if they're piling everything onto one tag team. They have barely enough to KO you. You KO them in return after playing this and all of a sudden they got nothing they can attack with next turn. 
and usually the turn after. So this is the deck. That's the basic setup. Let's see it in action. I've got two battles for you. The rest were a little too quick. Sorry. This hand, not really good opening. We've got a draw three, which I have to use. I don't need this much metal energy. I got a ditto. Cobalion. This could be bad. I was expecting the non-GX Vileplume, which can put the opponent to sleep. Would be a great combination for setup. And Slumbering Forest, which is why I also played the Chaotic Swell. I've got a Silph Ally in hand and a Ditto Prism on the field. I can draw two or three cards next round. There's the Oddish. I am expecting the, the Sleep File Plume before he searches out his Levani to reduce damage. But nope, it's the Vile Plume GX. I drew a Jirachi. I really need to get everything up. Second Jirachi. I also got the Scizor, but I don't have a Rainbow Energy. That is part of the combo. I decided not to play this Jirachi, see what I get. I got a red and blue. Although, maybe I should have gone for a tag call. I think I saw that there. Then I could have got Guzman Hala. Guzman Hala gets me the rainbow energy. That would have been better. Oh, well. Since I see an evolution, I grab a second metal energy. Rainbow energy. Third energy. I can deal 280 in one hit. Even if he plays the Lee Vanny, I can knock out that Vile Plume. The opponent has the Lily. And uses Cherish Ball to get a second Vile Plume, but uses the Vile Plume to trade out for an Oddish. So in case you aren't exactly sure what's going on, Exeglet right there, he is able. Well, they are able to evolve a grass Pokemon twice the turn it is put into play, or any other turn, for zero energy. Vile Plume, heal every Pokemon on your field. By 30. Got more Scythers, but I'm really looking for... I'm really looking for a Rainbow Energy. I set up the Meowth because Persian is going to be good soon. Let's see what the opponent does. Communicates. Shaman. Why is he playing Shaman in this? He does not have... The right cards to take advantage of that shaman. Okay, he re replaced it with a healing shaman. He can now heal 80 damage every turn. And I can try to deal 160. Choice helmet means I'll be dealing 130. I'll be dealing about 50 damage every turn. I drew a red and blue only supporter, and I need Persian. Here comes Persian. Now, if and when I lose a GX, I can search for any two cards I want. Island Challenge Amulet. Get it onto the second Scizor. I do not have enough damage to KO it, but its GX can't really do anything to me. Benefits all around. Floral Heal. 60. 30. 0. Yeah. He healed back to full. I need a rainbow energy. Yeah, he can't use that GX because it'll deal 50 damage. And then I can use my full full damage effect. Got the tag call. Got the Guzman Hala. Guzman Hala. Discard two cards. I do not need that Silvalli. I do not need that Persian. I already have set up. I grab Wondrous Labyrinth and rainbow energy. Wondrous Labyrinth is for later. But now I can use... I really thought about stealing, but then I realized that's an evolution! Crosscut! Got another tag call. I can get another rainbow energy and another tag call. Lots of rainbow energies. Thank you. Lana's fishing rod. For an Oddish. 
And super growth, nothing. He can't. He's stuck. Yeah, another reason for the Wondrous Labyrinth, as you can see here, I have three energy to use that GX attack, but only two energy for the main attack. I can't move energy off. Might as well just use it. Rainbow energy onto the second Scizor. I'm set up. Got the Steel Wing. He'll be able to heal off 50, which means that I'm dealing a net 80. Well, net 80 plus 30, which means that if I want to knock him out, I need to deal 240 plus 30. It'll take, this is a three shot. Unless, of course, he evolves that Fire Plume. Then it'll take a little longer. There's the Gloom. There's the Foul Plume. Got another Rainbow Energy, which means that if and when the Scissor goes down, I can Persian for Guzma and Hala. Wait, there's no more in my deck. Never mind. But I could have Guzma and hala so that I could... No, not, not Guzma and hala. I can use rain, Red and Blue. I'm getting super mixed up with my tag supporters. There's four names to keep track of. Sorry. I'm drawing nothing I can use, but then again, I am set up for two, for two knockouts, and during those two knockouts, I can set up a third. I'm safe. But then again, my deck is getting dangerously low. My opponent has his own Guzman Hala. He can grab a tool. He can grab a special energy. Uh, probably a weakness guard energy. He needs that for all the fire decks roaming around. Yep, weakness guard. Life forest. And ear ringing bell. He can't use life forest. He can't use ear ringing bell. And while he could use weakness energy, it's not going to reduce any damage. That was almost, an, almost a waste. Healing off his lead tag team. Super growth. It was not enough. You're so focused on healing that even this is able to outpace you. I'm so sorry. Three energy. I got a Cynthia and Caitlyn, which means I can search out another Guzma and Hala. Or another red and blue. I got Scizor in my hand. I got Scythers in my hand. I am Good to go. And Scizor got knocked out. One prize given. Island Challenge Shambulet, thank you. Let off the Jirachi in my deck. And bad luck, I drew the last Scizor GX. I cannot red and blue now. Catwalk, I need to grab an energy. I'm out of metal energy. But I do have that great catcher, which means that I can... Hit this vile plume, and if the vile plume retreats, I can great catch to hit it again. He can only heal. He can heal 80 off. That'll leave him at 80. I deal 160. That's 240. That's a. This is a clean two shot. Unless you have great potion in your hand. Do you have great potion? Let's see what happens. You have a switch. I get to use the great catcher. I get to show off everything. I get to discard cards. Yeah, we really need a Brock's grit that can recover special energy. So I just throw down the Scyther just to look intimidating. Got rid of my two Oaks. I no longer need them. And there's the finish. I'm so sorry, Vileplume. I wanted to run you, but this is why you wouldn't work out. Next match, we've got a Jirachi and a Type Null at the start. We've got a Guzman Hala, Cynthia and Caitlyn, did a Prism Star. I was really hoping to grab an Oak setting. That would be really good. I discard Chaotic Swell. 
this is not looking like a GX deck. The opponent led off with a Mewtwo. This Mewtwo can recover supporters. I'm sorry you had to lead it. And it's a Malamar deck. He's got Inke Scalor. And I just noticed that there's something off to the left of the screen. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Sorry. Can't really re-record this. This guy probably won't. We probably will not be ever, to, ever able to remake this match exactly as it was. Speaking of which. Whoever is in charge of the Pokemon Train Card Game Online, can we please make it so that we can recreate a battle using the game log? I checked that thing out. It is incredibly detailed. It has the, okay, this is what the player can view, and then it goes out into a second more detailed version that says, okay, when that opponent drew a card, this is what that card was. You are fully capable of reverse engineering how the match took place using the game log. You can even see it from the opponent's perspective. See how they could have played differently, flaws in your strategy, etc. I got a rainbow energy, guard energy, island challenge element, and a scissor GX. And then, oof, older build, I got a second weakness guard G energy. Actually, why am I even running Weakness Guard Energy aside from the Guzman Hollow and I don't want to take damage? It doesn't really do anything. So maybe replace that with a Triple Acceleration Energy so I can quickly use the GX or attack with Sylvalli or attack with Persian. Not that you want to attack with Sylvalli or Persian, just the opportunity is there. An Oak Setting. I got a second Scyther preparing, and I've got a Persian to evolve. I've got two red blues in my hand. I can do either. I probably want to go for the Persian first so that if and when that Scythe Scizor is knocked out, I can immediately grab the Rainbow Energy slash Guzman Hala and a Scizor GX. Or just another Rainbow Energy so that I can get that second Scyther in my hand up and just evolve that Scizor. I'm not entirely sure what this opponent's going for. He has mixed in a Sylvalli with his... With, I mean, with his Malamar deck. Maybe it's a free retreat one. That'd be nice. And he managed to find these special energy required to to make the Krasma hit max damage. And knocks out that Scizor. Good job. Send out the escape board Jirachi. I've got a red and blue. Search out the Persian. Persian. I already played a supporter. I can't play another. I really should have grabbed a rainbow energy. I messed up big time there. I apologize. I realize my mistake right now. I get the Jirachi with Island Challenge Amulet. I can't do anything. I messed up big time, but Stellar Wish. I think there's a Mahala. That'll be a Rainbow Energy next turn. He's not using GXs. I can discard Great Catcher. He's not. My bench is full. I cannot use Oak Setting. I can discard easy. Opponent has another reset stamp. But I drew a Rainbow Energy. I got the Rainbow Energy. I'm good. And second Malamar, second Necrozma. If that Weakness Guard energy was a Recycle energy, if you're listening... Sorry, I can't... My preview as I'm recording this doesn't give me enough clarity to read your name, sir. Energy Switch, nice play. 
But if your weakness guard energy was a rainbow energy, no, not rainbow, recycle energy, then as soon as the plasma is KO'd, you turn forward, returns to the hand, recycle energy, returns to the hand, and you can set another. And you can also loop this with Giratina, which you aren't playing. I got the Wondrous Labyrinth, but if I play the Wondrous Labyrinth now, it'll just be discarded. I have to wait for the opponent to use it. any stadium. Stellar Wish, got the Tag Call. Tag Call, I got the Red and Blue. I play the Red and Blue. Like I said, I don't need Oak. I don't need Great Catcher. Let's evolve a Scizor. Let's get a rainbow and meet one metal energy on it. Next turn, I can play that rainbow in my hand. It can attack. I drew a scissor. With Persian, I should check if there's a fourth scissor and a red and blue in my deck. Then I can just vault that one up immediately. Nope, I got this, got this shiny scissor in my discard. There isn't one. A judge, he is really knocking out my hand. Why aren't you playing Trevnor? Trevnor loves this. And he's got the non-GX self ally. Deals a bit of damage, but takes less. But but has to discard energy each time. Makes sense to put it in a Malamar deck like this. But you need a way to retreat it. Where's your Giratinas? You could be chipping damage onto me. I drew the Cherish Ball. Cherish Ball means I can search out Scizor if I don't have red and blue. Ooh. Lunala Prism Star deals damage times the total amount of energy on the field times 20 and can reattach energy from the discard according to how many benched Pokemon I have. I have a full bench. That is a good mid-game card in a great late-game swooper. This is a- that's a good card to use. I really should run that in my Malamar decks. Why aren't I? Well, either way, Malamars are gonna charge it up, get it ready. Lots of energy there. Is that recycle energy or is that another weakness card? Oh well, so Valai, you can attack now. Come on, hurry this video up. Thank you. That is lots of damage, loses an energy, can go, and it can go on to that Donwings. Not Donwings, that's just regular Lunala. No red and blue. Grab the rainbow energy and grab the Alling Challenge Amulet. The Alling Challenge Amulet, place the rainbow energy, play the Cherish Ball. Bummer. Play the other Scyther, Intimidation Factor is always nice. Oh, this earlier version ran Brock, but I never played Brock. All Brock really did was stop me decking out so early. Guzman Hala got the, another rainbow energy, got got retreat. I correct me if I'm wrong, but Persian might have a retreat of one, possibly two. If it has one, then I can work with the escape board. Let's see. I doubt it. Opponent leads into Ink K, wants to stock up on that Lunala. He must also have a way to switch it out into the active because I have only one prize left. He has to knock me out this turn. Let's see what you got. Yep, you got a switch. And that's not a recycle energy, that's another weakness guard. You're really afraid of psychics. I'm gonna note dark types on that one. Let me see, I reduce damage by 30, I resist, that's 50. Six energy on him, two on me. That makes more than enough. More than enough by 40. Me by 30. Got the rainbow energy, got the prox grit. Yeah, let... Like I said, all it really does is 
restock my deck. I don't, never really used it. Thin my deck out. Yeah, I'm really thinning my deck. Seller Wish, see what I can grab. Yeah, probably shouldn't be thinning my deck if I'm so close to decking out and winning by my prizes. But, as you can see, I can beat tag team decks, I can beat GX decks, and I can beat mono prize decks, because I am one too. If, no matter what Pokemon he uses, to not catch Jirachi, I got the win. Unless, of course, he has a great catcher and drags out Silvalli or Persian. That is his win condition. If he has it. But doesn't look like he does. Sorry, sir. Add great catcher. Try again. That would really help. Might as well give him a little salute. And let's finish. Let's finish this. If you like this deck, go ahead and try it out on your own.